Hey friends, welcome to another video by Gyan Lab. Today we are going to do a very interesting exercise on how to withdraw money from a bank using a check or a plain slip and you know how to uh, deposit money, how to transfer money from one account to another in the bank while you are, you are physically in the bank. So this is a very uh, you know interesting lesson for you kids as well as a lot of grown up people because there are many of us who are not very thorough with uh, you know the, the intricacies that need to be handled while while filling up a check so i have drawn a, a very that is an extremely vague structure of a check but this is what it some, some somewhat looks like and the first section that i have here on top is my date so if today is the 11th of february 2013 so i write 11 to 13 and one thing you have to note here is that the date of validity of the check is three months which means that on 11th of May this check will become invalid right so it is only valid till 10th of May hence you need to make sure that the date that you write is not more than three months away from the payment now there we have the next section which is called pay and here I'm supposed to fill up the name of the person whom the check has to go to so for example if I want to pay myself I want to pay myself uh, some amount of money I'll write here Priyadeep Sena now I write my complete name otherwise it might become a problem and you must ensure that you write the full name and in blocks the next section is rupees as you can see it's written in words here and in the short form or abbreviated form out here so what I'm supposed to do here is say for example I want to give myself rupees 500 so I'll write here rupees 500 only we write only at the end of the check so that any amount of money cannot be added after this right it is a form of security basically and the same thing here I'll write 500 in numericals and put a dash and a hyphen to make sure that there is no space after this to write, write more number of zeros and you someone, someone can actually take more money from you if that happens and here you have your account number your account number from which the money is being withdrawn the, from the, which the money is going out and that account number is written over here you have your bank and branch name here and you have your name written at the bottom of the, of the check so what you have to do here is place your signature and so I put my signature here. Now this becomes an authentic check. You must be wondering what this number is over here. But this is the check number. So if someone asks you, you know, to fill up the check number, what do you write? It's three one zero zero five six. That's it. That's the check number. You please, uh, I mean, do not do not worry about the numbers that are uh, mentioned next to it because it contains the sort code and the account code. A lot of things which you don't need to. Uh, you are not supposed to be concerned with it. It's it's necessary for the bank and not you. So now this check, if I go and give it to the cashier in a bank, in, in my bank, which is Bank of Hindustan, I'll get 500 rupees in cash. Right? But there are times when you, you want to pay a person in the account. You don't want to pay them in hand. For example, if some, I, some XYZ company has given me a service of 5000 rupees and one of the employees of the company comes to me and, and, and to check the, take the check, I don't want that person to take away 5000 rupees, right? Now, how do I ensure that that money goes to only the account of the com of XYZ company? For the same, I have to make it, this is a bearer's check. So I have to make an account pay check. And how do I do that? I put two crosses here. So it's, 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 it's basically crossing a check is, is like putting parallel lines at the top left hand corner of the check. And what you write inside this is AC pay and that means that the money will go to an account and not the person so in fact today if you just put the two parallel lines it is understood that you are crossing a check all right so to ensure that you uh, the money goes to into an account you got to put the cross and for a safer side just write a c pay in the check and so today I have to give 10,000 rupees to XYZ company because I bought a printer from them 
and so how do I issue a check to to XYZ company? And and the uh, an employee of the company is coming to me today to take the check. So I'll fill up the pay section as XYZ company. Sorry. And uh, the date as 11th of February 2013. And now, so I'm paying them 10,000. So I write 10,000 in words. And then write an only at the end of it. And then I put the same in numericals. And that's it. So, you know, and since this is a, a dummy check which does not contain my account number. I'll write my account number in the check, so which is three one two four five six nine one eight, and you don't need to worry about this. Put your signature here, and the last thing which I mentioned to you, cross the check and write A C P. So now, when the employee of the company comes, I just give him the check, and it's done. As simple as that. But uh, the, there's a but over there. Is this check valid? If you see, while paying, the, while writing the name of the company, I made an error out here. Okay, and since I made this error, for every error that I make, uh, any any you know like like I, I wrote come pay in so company, I have to put another signature of mine. Or if it's a major error, I got to write a new check all over again. Okay, so make sure that your, your attention is completely on the check while filling it up and, and you write everything in a very crystal clear manner because if there is any ambiguity in the check, the banks prefer not to take it. And now I need some money and unfortunately I've forgotten my debit card and also do not have my credit card now what do I do but I luckily have my checkbook. So I quickly fill it up, I write self because I want to pay myself. I do not pay the cross here, put the cross here because I want cash to be handed over to me. I write the amount that I need, 7500 with an only here and with the slash and hyphen over here. I write today's date, my account number and put a signature. And now I'll give this check to the cashier in the bank who would give me this sum of money. Now let's see how does that happen. So uh, I'm going to enact you a, a scene of, of a bank right now. So I'm happy to be the cashier, although not very happy to you know let money go out of my hands. But uh, anyway, so let, let let's see uh, what the first customer who comes wants. Okay, good. All right. So here we have our first customer, and 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 she wants seven thousand five hundred. So the first thing I'll do is I'll I'll open up the account number quickly. Okay. So it says three one. Two, four, five, six, and nine, one, eight. Okay, yes, it's a legitimate account. Yes, face matches. Yes, the right person. Okay, cool. So I just enter that I have given her seven thousand five hundred. She has that much money in her account. Great. So try quickly put a seal on the check. Keep the check away with me. And hand over 7500, that's what she wanted. And that's it. So you've got to do the same thing. Just make sure it's all legitimate and it all works out really nice. Thank you.